Hey there, welcome back to my channel, the place for parents who want the best from their little ones sleep. Now, I've been talking recently about travel with babies and children and helping to share as much as I can with you to make the journey easier, to make your time away more enjoyable and so that sleep doesn't just become a complete disaster. So today I'm gonna to be sharing my sleep tips for you while you're away. So whilst you're on your holiday or vacation, whilst you're traveling, how can you make sleep much better than just leaving it to chance? So stick around, I have some amazing tips coming right up for you. Okay, so let's delve in and my first tip for you um, for improving sleep or making sleep good whilst you're away with your children is to think about the routine but different. So when I say routine but different, it means you want to have some kind of routine, some kind of rhythm going on. So if they're napping, let's work out where they're going to fall where those naps are going to sit in the day and uh, let's if we're going to you know bedtime where is that going to be so we do want some kind of rhythmicity but it can be different to what you do at home for example it's quite common when we travel especially if we're on a vacation with our children that we might want to shift bedtime to be a little bit later perhaps if they're going to be dining with us we might want to move bedtime a little bit later or maybe if there's a kiddies disco or a children's club or something that they're going to go to again um, it might just mean bedtime is a little bit different if that's the case will they be the kind of child to make up those hours and sleep in a bit in the morning or are you um like me where you have a child that it doesn't matter when they go to bed they will always wake up at the same time in the morning and if that's you you might need to factor in um, a nap in the day that perhaps doesn't normally happen at home or an additional sleep in the day that you wouldn't normally do in your home routine so you just need to allow for these tweaks so that you can get into a holiday routine with sleep okay the second thing I want to share with you is about sleep location often when we travel our little one sleep location changes it might be that they are sharing a room when they wouldn't normally either with a sibling or with parents so the whole family might be in one room that can happen. Their sleep location for naps might change. Maybe they normally take a nap at home in a cot and now they're gonna be taking a nap in the pram or their pushchair stroller um, whilst out and about because let's face it, we're on a vacation, we wanna be out and having fun, right? <laughs> so the location of sleep can change. Again, set it up for your holiday rules, your vacation rules, um, so that whilst you're there, that's what you do, and they get used to it. Don't worry, they won't see this as home, they'll see this as a different environment anyway, and what happens there is what happens there. So set up the room for comfort and safety, and have a nap setting that you know works, um, so you can also all enjoy your holiday. I remember doing this with ours, I remember when they were in a double push chair, and being away, and it was just, we had a lovely routine that after lunch, they would, they'd have their lunch, they were all nice and fed, and it was the hottest part of the day. They'd go into the double push chair, shades over, laid back, and we would go for a nice walk. And that nice walk would be nice to have after lunch, they would nod off to sleep. We could park up in the shade with them, sun loungers, books, and enjoy whilst they would take a nap, and it was just lovely. So it can work really, really well. I'm not saying it always goes that smoothly, but it can do. And the same with bedtimes. So that's my third thing for you actually is to just take you through bedtime bedtime routines you can shift this there's options here and it will depend on what you're doing where you're going where you're staying who you're with you might be away with family for instance and or staying at somebody's house or you might be in a resort or um at one of these lovely places where you have the children's clubs that you can we, we used to call it movie club where they would go they would watch movie and they settle down on little camp beds where parents go and have their dinner and then you collect them and sleepily carry them back there's so many different setups on holidays um for families so wherever you are just consider what bedtime routine will work given the setting that you're in um, one example and a common one that I think fits well if you are at a holiday destination is to do your bedtime routine this is particularly with babies and younger ones toddler preschoolers is to do the bedtime routine with them in your room in your accommodation have it all like have that routine that they know have a wash a bath or a shower it helps get rid of it, the sunscreen or any clamminess from the day if you are somewhere hotter than they're used to it gives them that nice cooling feel into their sleepwear 
and then it might be that you settle them in the pram or in the push chair and then they cuddle up maybe with their teddy and then you go out and you can then go out for your evening and have a sleeper right by your side and that that can work really well too right through sort of baby and um and toddlerhood as well that one could be a really effective bedtime set up but the point is if you have your if you have some kind of routine there rather than just I don't know they just veg out on an iPad until they zonk out if they actually have that routine it will help them and it will help them to sleep better and then you just transfer them to their sleep space when you get back afterwards okay the last point on this I'm going to share with you is when you get back home I mentioned this in my last episode so if you would like some more help with the return to home um well the return to home I'm going to talk about in my next episode actually it was time zones last but every time I will say this when you return home you return back to normal local time I talked about in the last episode and for this episode routine return back to your normal routine with when the meal times and nap times and bedtimes are and the environment they will slip back into it because it's familiar in a familiar environment okay I hope this has been helpful and I will see you next time I'm going to be talking all about the return home thanks so much for watching if you've liked anything about this episode then please leave a comment below and hit subscribe for more episodes like this if any of your friends would benefit from seeing this video, then please do share it with them using the hashtag the sleep nanny. And we look forward to seeing you again real soon.